Here on the channel, we've already covered a bunch of really great options for taking on six star terror raids, especially solo in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But I've just come across a brand new strategy and probably the best Pokemon that we've got so far to take on six star terror raids, meaning you're gonna be able to not only beat them easily solo, but probably knock them out in one hit. We're gonna cover everything in today's guide, but before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, the strategy itself is all based around a brand new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, Annihilate. So to start us off, we are gonna need to get ourselves a Mankey, and you can get it in these areas of the Paldea region. You spawn around most of the South Province areas, grab the first one that you come across, because we will be training it up using a combination of vitamins, nature mints and hyper training as well it does evolve into primate at level 28 so that's the first thing that we're going to want to do if you've got candies just use those if you want to use xp farming then it shouldn't take too long you can always use one of the xp farming methods that we've got on the channel now so once you hit that level 28 it will evolve into primate the next step is to get your primate up to level 35 because that is the level that you are going to learn the move rage fist and that is key to evolving primeape in to annihilate so you can see here rage fist is the move that we're going to do just need to use rage fist 20 times and that will evolve you can use it against multiple pokemon one pokemon all you need to do is use rage fist 20 times and then level it up and it will evolve it has got 10 pp so you can just run through the pp twice over and that will be the 20 that you need once you have used 20 rage fists what you need to do is then just level up your primate one more time and you will see primate is now going to evolve into annihilate so this is the first kind of step that you're going to need to do get your annihilate and then we are going to go and finish off training it up so the next thing that we're going to do is pick up a couple of tms we're going to need specifically drain punch and bulk up these are two moves that annihilate doesn't learn through level up so we're going to need to go out and get them in the wild if you've already collected them that's great or you've got them and you can make them at a tm machine at a pokemon center then don't worry about this step but if you haven't found them already and you do want to know where their locations are you want to come to south province area five this watchtower right here is the first location Location. and once you're at the top of the watchtower the TM will be here and then the next location that you're going to want to head to to get bulk up is just heading down to the coast from this watchtower bulk up will be located right here but again I've already collected it so this is the area on the map that you're going to want to head to this is in south province area 5 and this is where you find bulk up okay with our TMs picked up so our move set will be sorted when we need to get around to it the next thing that we're going to do is go to Mesa Goza West and once you're at this Pokemon Center here you want to just come into the Delibird presence store here which is located in Mesa Goza West like we say and the item that we're going to be picking up in here is going to be under general goods and it is going to be bottle caps and we're going to need to pick up five bottle caps because i would imagine you can probably cut this down by checking your annihilate first to see what iv spread it's got by going into your boxes and then coming over to the annihilate and just checking its iv spread but more than likely it's probably going to have a bad spread nothing is going to be the best in its ivs and this is quite an important step that you're going to want to make sure that you take with the annihilate to make sure that it has got those perfect ivs to just maximize the potential of it in these terror raid battles so the next place that we're going to head to is montenavera this is the location where we're going to go to get our vitamins and also do some hyper training so once you're at the pokemon center you'd want to just come around to the back of this and head and speak to this npc character here ideally for these raids you're going to want to get it to level 100 it has to be a minimum of level 50 to hyper train it but like i say for this method you're going to want to train it to level 100 anyway once it is to level 100 or 50 if you're kind of just saving some time you want to talk to the npc character and use the bottle caps that you've just picked up in mesagoza to train up all six of its stats its hp its attack defense special defense and speed obviously if it's already got a max iv in one stat you're not going to need to hyper train that stat because it's already maxed out so once that is done we can then take a look at our Annihilate and it is level 100 and if we look at the stats now you can see it is all beautifully hyper trained. So with Annihilate all trained up and a blank slate on those EVs we got rid of them all we can go over to the Chansey Supplies store here which is in Monteravera 
and we can head in here and we're going to need to pick up a couple of items they are going to be a little bit expensive but hopefully you've got enough cash to buy these items the first thing that we're going to need to get is going to be an adamant mint to make sure that it's nature is correct it's boosting that attack stat and lowering the special attack which we've already mentioned is an irrelevant stat for it now to just prolong longevity in battles we're going to need to pick up 26 hp ups but to max out its hp evs next one is going to be 26 proteins this will just maximize attack and then the last one can just be anything that you feel is more relevant you can go a bit of speed if you want and um, probably better off going for something like zinc because we are using the bulk up option on this annihilate and we'll be boosting the defense anyway so just that little bit extra in the special defense might help first thing we're going to use is that adamant mint to change its nature like we've already mentioned to boost its attacks stat and we're going to use the 26 hp ups to maximize its hp evs and then 26 proteins which will maximize its attack evs and then we've got one left over we've got four evs so we can use that zinc like we just mentioned just to give it a bit more staying power in its special defense it might make all the difference and that is our annihilate completely hyper trained ev trained up ready to go so all we need to do now is finish off its move set showing you the location where you can pick bulk up bulk up is one of the tms that you're going to need it isn't a level up move so this is something that we're going to have to teach annihilate and the other one is drain punch if you have picked it up already in your game it is going to be available to craft here at the tm machine so you can just toggle along with your right shoulder button until you get to the fighting type moves and then you can come down and find drain punch you're obviously going to need the crawl gunk monkey and crawl brawler materials to craft this so you'll be a high if you don't have them you'll just have to find them around the paldea region super common spawn so you'll be able to go and get these no problem at all so drain punch is the last move that we'll need to teach to our annihilate and that is the move set done and once you've finished all these steps your annihilate should look something like this uh, it's terror type will be fighting you can go for ghost as well if you would prefer for this strategy you're not really going to be relying on terrestrializing very much it will look like this level 100 and it will have these stats it's hp it's attack defense speed and special defense should all look like this if you max it out correctly for terror raids i personally prefer the ability vital spirit Defiant, its hidden ability is definitely a great option because you can take advantage of any stat drops and you'll get an additional attack boost for those. So it's up to you. What do you value more? I really don't like status conditions and you can use something like the Covered Clock as its item on here to stop any secondary effects from like Hurricane, Confusion and Paralysis from Thunderbolt and stuff like that. So this just gives you a little bit of extra protection from getting that sleep condition which is pretty much one of the worst ones you can have in a terror raid. Its moveset should be Rage Fist, Screech, Bulk Up and Drain Punch and that is the Annihilate done with the Adamant Nature. With your Annihilate all trained up the next thing to do is is locate your six star terror raid it ours is here you can see it is a dragon type one so we'll fly over to the acero desert and we'll check out what this is okay what are we going up against in this one it is gonna be a dash bun so obviously the fairy typing from this will hit us for super effective damage but we should still be all right we've attached the covert clock to the annihilate so we'll go in and we will take this dash bun on now the whole premise of this strategy with the annihilate is taking advantage of the move rage fist it was the move that we needed to evolve that we used earlier on in the guide but it is the basic idea around this whole strategy now rage fist is a base 50 power move every time you take damage from an attack from your opponent it boosts the base power of rage fist by another 50 so you you're going to end up with after taking so many attacks at a base 300 move which is just absolutely ridiculous on top of that you're stacking the bulk ups boosting your attack and boosting your offense and then stacking that with screech as well so the whole premise of this is to start off using the bulk up you want to use this three times and ideally your opponent is going to be hitting you every single turn boosting the rage fist power until you are finished there we go so we see the there's the play rough so that'll boost rage fist by one stage so now it's base 100 attack ideally we want to get hit six times by our opponent which will then max it out to that base 300 power 
after we've bulked up three times and then screeched three times, which will allow our opponent six turns to hit us, then everything is maxed out, leaving us in a position where we can just use that Rage Fist and that will potentially knock out the opposing Terra Pokemon, even if it is a six raid Pokemon, making them so, so easy to complete. So we'll go for these Screeches now. We want to get three of these off before we do attack. And the reason for going for the Screeches last is because a lot of your partnering Pokemon might be in a position to do too much damage to the Dash Bun before their shield goes up. And you really want to be doing the damage before the shield goes up so you can maximize the damage, take it down to pretty much no HP. Uh, if it's got a shield up, obviously it's going to be a lot stronger and the one hit kill probably won't be possible. We are set up now and we can go for this Rage Fist and this should be maxed out and we'll see how much damage it does. And there we go, Dash Bun, not the strongest of Pokemon, but you can see the damage here and how quick that was to do a six star terror raid, which is absolutely crazy. But this is pretty much the basic strategy. You want to just be getting those three bulk ups off and then getting the three screech off. In the meantime, you're going to be taking attacks from your opponent, which is also going to be boosting the rage on your Annihilate. And then when everything's set up after those six turns, you want to just launch out a Rage Fist. And like you've just seen against this Dash Bun and the majority of other Pokemon, it's going to be enough to knock them out. If not, it's going to leave them on the tiniest amount of HP, which means you can clean them up really easy. And we do get some nice drops here here as well some nuggets and recovering a few of those bottle caps that we used to train the annihilate up in the first place like i say it's an easy process you will need a bit of money to train it up if you are using the hyper training and the vitamins for ev training but it's a super quick method and you can get going in like literally 20 minutes after catching your monkey. That is the guide for Annihilate. Now you're going to be able to go out and you have another member to your party that's going to take on these six star terror raids even easier, meaning that you're going to be able to farm Herba Mystica even easier, which is a huge thing in these games for doing a lot of post game content. So hope you found this video useful friends. If it has been useful, please drop a like on the video. It does massively help out and do subscribe to the channel. Do use it and you have had a lot of success with it let me know down in the comment section below annihilate is definitely one of my favorite new pokemon in scarlet and violet so seeing this strategy used with it and how effective it is especially against six star terror raids it just makes it even more appealing have fun with it friends thank you for tuning in and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye